Well, <laughs> all I can tell you is that uh, this is the high desert uh, with uh, with an idea. I can't go any closer uh, because of that sign. Uh, and that's a big building down there. That's a huge telescope. Um, I would guess it's a hundred yards in diameter, but I'm only guessing. I'm about a half mile away at least. Uh, you can see the others that are just as big. And uh, it's way back. 25, 30 miles. That's, uh, that's a big one in the field. So we're coming up. Uh, we're within probably 50 miles of the Long Valley Caldera. They still have active domes and seepages and steam. And just after, uh, uh, just before Bishop, just after Bishop. And uh, it, it's uh, it's nice. You can see uh, there's an eagle over there bothering that telescope, uh, and you can see the weather beginning to come in. We're having fall weather coming up very shortly, so. Change. But I just want to uh, make a little portrait of this. And uh, back up a little bit. That's it, and uh, Voyager has just left the uh, our solar boundary, and it's out there with the gamma rays uh, from the intergalactic gamma rays, not the solar ones. And uh, that might just be talking to it. Uh, some of the others, you can see the the angles are set at. Although those might be uh, smaller ones, might just be satellites. And Caltech, uh, I used to go next to it for 15 years and visit it. I was there for the Jupiter probe when, with Carl Sagan in the auditorium just before he died. Gave a little presentation on what was going on. Those mountains are big, but those antennas are also big. Just want to show the. Uh, I don't know if you could hear me because of the wind. And we'll give you a glimpse of the Owens River. Heading back, it's pretty common, except it's not. That's about it. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, me a lot of good just to see it. And I'm an onion. I really don't know what's going on in the world. Glad you do.